So we all know that editing can be the most tedious part of making videos or filmmaking, and any way to speed things up is brilliant, whether that's learning shortcuts or faster, more efficient ways to edit. My name is Josh, and today I'm going to be looking at an often underlooked aspect of editing and give you a solution that could save you valuable time. So most of the time, one of the last things we do with our edits before we colour grade and export the footage is work on the sound of the video. This can take some time, as sound, in particular the dialogue, is often the most important part of a video. For any YouTube related content, that is pretty much always the case. We can spend a lot of time mixing the dialogue and sound to get it perfect, often using multiple effects such as EQs, compressors and reverb. Dialing in all these parameters can take time, but what if we can speed this up by creating presets? This is perfect when we are making videos from the same location, using the same mics all the time. In particular, this is excellent for YouTube style videos like this one. When I'm making these videos, I pretty much always film in the same location, from my home studio. I have two microphones with very distinct qualities, one of which is the Comica VM10, which you're hearing right now, my main camera mic positioned just in front of me at the moment, and the other is the Rode Pod mic, which I use when I'm working at the computer. These mics sound very different, and neither of them provide a straight out the box usable recording. Some tweaking is required, both to get the best of the mics, but also make them sound a bit more like each other, so the dialogue of my videos is slightly more uniform. Rather than having to apply all the different effects such as EQ and compression and configure these each time, I've created presets that drastically speeds up my editing and gets me to the desired sound so much quicker. I'm going to show you how you can make these presets too and save them to use in all of your projects. Now this can be done with both native Premiere effects or with third party plugins. I'll show you a mix of both in this one. I won't go into all the settings and reasons behind me choosing them in this video, but maybe in another video I can get into further details about mixing dialogue. If this is something you'd be interested in, leave a comment below. I'll just quickly make the effects and provide a bit of detail about my choice, showing you how to make the presets is what this video is really about. So let's jump into Premiere and get started. Okay, so I've opened up a project here which features both the Comica mic that I use in my camera and this uh, Rode Pod mic. So the first track here in blue, um, that's the, the camera mic, uh, the Comica mic, and this one here in green is the Pod mic, which is the voiceover. Um, so we're, we're going to start using we're going to start with using the, the Comica mic and we'll make a preset for that one, save that, and then we'll do the same for the road mic. So we'll have two different presets, which can be applied to any project or any clip really. Okay, so normally when working audio in Premiere or what I used to do even, is I'd go to the audio track mixer and that's where I'd apply the plugins. Now the reason for this is when you apply a plugin there, it applies it to all the clips in the track. Um, but this doesn't work for presets really annoyingly. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to work on a single clip and add the effects to this clip. And then I'm going to show you a way where you can just copy those effects over to all the other clips uh, really easily. So, uh, so it doesn't take much longer. It's just unfortunate that you can't actually add presets to the, the audio track mixer. So I'm going to go to effect controls and this is where I'm going to add my effects to create a preset. But before I do that, I want to loop the audio so it just stays within this first clip. So I'm going to click I for the input and then just go near the end of the clip, hit O. And then I'm going to select loop playback. Now, if you don't have this option, all you need to do is click on the plus, go to there, find loop playback and you just you just drag it on where you want it to be. Now when I hit like play, it's going to play through and it's just going to jump back to the beginning of then like that, which means it will just play in a loop as I, as I work through the effects. So first of all, I'm going to go to my effects, audio effects, and then down to my VST. Uh, I'm going to be using mainly third party plugins for this, but it, it really doesn't matter. Um, whatever you use, the native plugins are, are great. I'm just going to use the third party ones because it's what I've been using for years, but both work for creating presets. And as I said, I'm not going to go through the, uh, the exact settings I use for the effects. I'm just going to quickly add a few of them. 
um, and tweak them a bit to make the preset. And maybe in another video I can I can cover like the exact settings that I'd use. But for just now, I'm just showing you how to how to save a preset. So first of all, I'm going to start with a compressor. I'll use this focal strip, and I'm just going to pull this onto the effect controls. Um, I'm going to hit play, so it's looping. And then if you just go to edit here, this is where I can change the parameters of the effect. So I'm just going to quickly run through that, change them, add some compression to the, to the sound. So this vocal strip also has a de-esser, which I'm just going to apply a, a wee bit to. And then I'm going to do some separate equalization, but I'm just going to take out the real lows here as well. Pretty happy with that. Cool. So that's me. I did the compressor. Next, I'm going to add an EQ, just quickly run through that as well. The effect, same thing, just drag that below, go into edit, and then you're just going to apply the effects you want. Okay, pretty happy with that. Um, just some basic EQ, taking a bit the low end rumble out of it. So I'll close that and then the last effect I'm going to add um, for this comic I make is a de-reverb. If you notice I've got a brick wall here and that along with the wooden floor in this room aren't ideal for, well, it creates a lot of reverb so it's not ideal for recording dialogue. Um, now there is things that you can do to reduce this such as getting the mic as close as to your as close to your face as possible. I've also got some sound panels up in the roof and I bring in a blanket a lot of the time when I'm recording and put that on the floor to try and uh, reduce the amount of reverb. But at the same time, this, this room's used for other things. So I don't really want to go crazy with the soundproofing. So add a bit of the reverb onto this just to, just to tame the reverb a bit. So this one's just a native effect. You'll find it in noise reduction uh, and restoration, and then it has de-reverb. So I'm just gonna pull that on below. Now, this is a really, can be a really extreme effect. And if you apply too much of it, it can really start creating phasing issues and some weird lispy things in your in your voice. So it's really best just to, to apply as, as little as you can essentially just to get the effect working you don't definitely don't want to go too crazy um, usually between 10 and 20 percent is is more than enough it, that is if you if you've managed to deal with a reverb to, to, to some extent at the beginning um, yeah that so yep 10 percent actually is totally fine for this so there you go that's me created three effects onto for the comic I make. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the three of these effects by holding command and clicking on each of the effects. Then if I right click you get this option to save a preset. I'm going to save a preset and I'm going to call it a uh, Comica VM10 and now this will be the, the preset I use for that mic all the time. Hit OK. And that should have created a preset. Now in my audio effects menu, you drop down presets. There it is, Comica VM10. So I'm actually just going to delete each of these ones I've just added, uh, just created. Now if I drag in this Comica VM10, there it is there. All three of them added in the order we added them. So if I double click in, in one of these effects, like the EQ, it's already saved, saved within it all our settings, which is brilliant. So that's it, that's us got the preset. Now, as I mentioned before, the issue with this is that's only applying it to this one clip. So we'll just delete them. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all these clips here where I want the preset to be added to. I'm going to right click and then I'm just going to say nest and we'll just call it nested sequence one. That's fine. So that's just going to create a nested clip. 
Now, all those individual clips will just sit within that. So if we double click on that, we can go in, we can see them all individually. So we can tweak them in there if we'd want to. But now when we drag our preset onto this nested clip, <laughs> drag it onto the right place. There we go, we've got all our effects and that's going to apply it all across for every for every effect within that nest. So yeah, that, and that's all there is to it. So I'll let you hear how it would sound with and without the preset. So this is what the Comica mic sounds like before I apply the preset. You might notice the reverb. And this is what it's like when I've applied the preset, tidying up the sound a bit and reducing that reverb a wee bit more with the D reverb. And the other cool thing is when you drag this preset on, if it doesn't quite work across the board or in one project, maybe the reverb is slightly different. Once the, uh, the presets are added, you can actually go into the individual parameters and, and change them as you please, which is brilliant for making small tweaks. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and we'll do the same for our, for our voiceover track. So if I move the in and out to just the beginning here and out, do the same and I'll just loop this and I'll work in this track. Go to effect controls. I'm gonna add this, just pretty much the same effects here, um, but with, with, with pretty different settings because this mic quality is really quite different to, to the Comica mic. There's a lot more low end in this mic that needs needs taken out. Cool, so that will probably do it for the EQ. Cool. And then the last thing for this one, because this is this is actually a really dry microphone, unlike the Comica where I have the issues with the reverb, this one doesn't really pick up any reverb at all. So to make it a bit more similar to the Comica mic, I'm gonna add a wee bit of reverb to this to this road one. Yeah, and I'm just I'm just gonna use a, a preset a, for this one that I know works dead well for this mic. Where is it? Yeah. And well, this I'm only after like the tiniest amount of reverb, really, just just to bring it to life a bit and make it sound a bit more like the Comica mic. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so now we've got the preset for the road mic as well. Same again, I'm going to select each effect. Save preset. Yep, and then I'm just going to call this road pod mic. Okay, so that's it. Same again, I can delete each of these. I'm going to go I'm going to nest all of these tracks. Nest. There we go. And now if I just drag on my Rode pod mic, there it is there. All ready to go set across the whole thing. Um, I'll let you hear that preset as well. Yeah, so this is what this mic sounds like before any presets. It's really dry and it's really quite boomy and low endy. Um, and this is what it sounds like when the effects applied, uh, a lot clearer, taking away a, a good amount of low end and making it sound a lot more like the comma, comica mic that's on my camera. Yeah, so that's it. It's there in your presets. I've got my Rode pod mic one and my comica VM10. Now I can just add them whenever I need to. And as I said, the great thing is you can then, once you've added the preset, you can go in and still change it up a wee bit. But that should save you tons of time when you're doing your editing. Um, just create the presets once, get them sounding as good as you can. If you're using the same setup all the time, you just slap them on. That's you ready to go. So there you go. I hope I've encouraged you to create your own presets to help speed up your editing. If you found this video helpful, a like would be much appreciated as it really helps the channel out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.